how should a student prepare for the university exam especially from psm as far as the exam is concerned for third year so the topic will be included whatever taught in first year second year as well as in third year so the whole book of park will be covered uh it will come in two papers what should a student do and not do while preparing for a forensic practical exams there are some guidelines from nmc like how to conduct a forensic practical exam mm-hmm. they have given uh, a proper uh, competencies to cover like example uh, skeletal remains that is compulsory exercise around 10 mark then comes is uh, mccd that is death certificate that is 5 mark Hello guys welcome back once again to PW Meter YouTube channel I am very very excited to have two important people here Dr Murugan from Community Medicine of Physics Wala Meter and also Dr Manjunath sir from Forensic Medicine of PW Meter So here we are going to have a very important announcement before even going to the announcement I remember my uh, second year exams and third year exams when I was doing MBBS forensic was in second year I still remember that me and my friends used to go to one more college to learn the practicals because our college didn't have enough adequate facilities no, neither was a forensic professor there but the person who was there will be always in, be engaged in post mortem and there's no one to run the department right that's what uh, my forensic medicine was and psm psm is always a googly right first year also they teach psm second year also they teach psm but when in third year when we come to psm we will say that we already read microbiology psm is half completed vaccination pediatrics completed history taking obg is completed so actually we don't read psm when we are supposed to read that's in third year right so sir uh, with the exams coming which is uh, for the third prof students in december and january what is your take and how should a student prepare for the university exam especially from psm murugan sir your take sir thanks dr anjit so uh, as far as the exam is concerned for uh, uh, third year so the topic will be included whatever taught in first year second year as well as in third year okay. so the whole book of park will be covered uh it will come in two papers okay uh, we will have this essay questions uh, short notes mcqs now as per the new curriculum you will have mcqs okay that will be covered right from all the topics they don't think that there is only few topics start in third year alone will be included so it is supposed to be are supposed to include every topic then right please dr ranjit so whatever changes parks never change right sir park is always consistent park stays there forever yes 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 sir manjuna sir like uh, first question like is it only psm and forensic medicine third year or will they later on after one month they'll say ent you know there also will come into it what's the take on nmc for that part as the time table be assured that it's going to be only psm and forensic sir sir as per time table it is only psm and forensic medicine this year okay great sir so like so if it's only two subjects and the forensic medicine it's definitely theoretically it's very interesting subject we do like to solve the crimes learn more about the poisonings and stuffs and how do you think a student should approach for a university exam because generally forensic is considered to be very small and very easy the students kind of push it to the last minute like yes. one kar da kar dunga right so that attitude will always be there with the student so what will uh, students sh- should do if they not touch the forensic book till now from today till the exam what should they do to sail through the next year sir uh, in forensic medicine there are some high yielding topics yes sir like example post mortem changes mm-hmm. so like rigor mortis liver mortis algar mortis they are frequently asked Mm-hmm. if they go through some important uh, high yielding points in every chapter they will definitely clear upcoming exam that's great sir so like long essays short essays there are some very frequently asked short answers if they great. cover around 100 150 topics so they will definitely clear a forensic exam in uh, i think four or five days of reading and that that is giving to give them yes. over confidence right sir yes sir yes to one month <laughs> do not come from one month to four five days very soon okay yes. sir uh, uh, both of you have been examiners to ug students for multiple medical colleges over the past years right i yes. think there is a hod and manjunath sir also is hod of head of his department in forensic medicine and sir in psm so sir uh, like when an exam pattern changes because nmc always keeps on giving random bounces on and off right so an exam pattern changes uh, and uh, you also seen students for a very long time so how a student should prepare for practicals primarily practicals when you goes in external you must have felt that okay the student if they have done this they could have performed better or this is something which students should have not done right so your take manjunath so like 
what should a student do and not do while preparing for a forensic practical exams so regarding forensic practical uh, there are some guidelines from nmc like how to conduct a forensic practical exam mm -hmm. they have given uh, a proper uh, competencies to cover like example uh, skeletal remains that is mm -hmm. compulsory exercise around 10 mark then comes is uh, mccd that is death certificate that is 5 mark then drunkenness, victim examination, accuse of rape examination, injury certificate, usually 10 mark. Then there are some questions like uh, DNA analysis, samples to be collected, or what are the samples to be collected in case of poisoning, that can be a 5 mark question. And uh, there is one more 10 mark question that is age estimation. So they, they will provide you some x-ray finding, or they might provide you some uh, findings of uh, dentition. They, they can ask uh, what is the what is the age of the particular person and also additionally uh, they also give pm certificates they'll give some history like example case of hanging they'll provide some uh, important findings in particular case they ask what is the opinion or cause of death and lastly the spotters okay so there are eight exercises in forensic medicine as per nmc guidelines I think, thank goodness, I passed very early. I, I remember only spotters, the jars where the vipers will be keeping and we used to look at the numbers and say, okay, this viper, write it off and few yeah. seeds for poisoning. That's the only thing I remember from my forensic medicine practical. Yeah. Eight exercise is a drastic change from whatever has happened. I uh, The students should be prepared for it and I hope you will be able to guide them as well. Sir, uh, Murugan, sir, like recently I heard that uh, NMC has also brought in CCTV while the viva happens. Yes. Yes. And they practice oh, it. Now, now yes, all, all departments, department. sir. All departments. Okay, all departments. So both the student as well as the teacher will be facing a camera? No, you, you have to conduct the exam. NMC will be taking the... You have to take a video of it. The whole day video, whole exam process, you have to submit it to the... Not full video, some minimal... Around one or two hours. One or two hours, you have to submit Okay, so that means the teacher also will be under a test. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Perfect. So, like, uh, since, like Murugan has said, there are eight different exercises in forensic medicine practical. Panjana has said, Murugan said, what is the, is there anything new ad addition which has happened uh, in the PSM practicals? Are there any set template like this should happen, this should happen? Is there anything like that? They, they, they asked us to conduct four set of areas they asked us to conduct. One is the clinical social case. So we should have cases we should have, like antenatal case, postnatal case, uh, diabetes, hypertension, under five children or a TB like that. The case has to be there. Second, we should have a spotters. Spotters will be there. That is as usual. And uh, epidemiological exercise and biostatistics exercise used to be, is, it will be there. And some form of scenarios will be given. You have to write it as OSPI. Objectively structured practical examination, you have to write. These are okay. same things, same things. Mostly. Okay, perfect. So it's like the pattern is kind of changing to OSCEs and OSPs pattern. So slowly, I think they will be helped. more OSCE will happen clinical subjects, but here OSP is there. OSP is okay. there. So I think the transition is smooth from a second year where they look into the microscope and having a little bit of exposure to the practicals, and in the final year they'll have this batch will obviously will have all the six major subjects in the final year for them, right? So, so the pressing question is, there have been lots of queries from students like uh, we have conducted FARE for the first prof and FARE for the second prof. Are we planning to conduct something of FARE for the third prof? Your takes are yes or no? Definitely yes. We are ready for it and we are preparing and we are ready for, to take the classes. One the sir, in your style? Definitely yes, sir. Definitely yes. That's because great. We already prepared some beautiful notes from different chapters. Uh, very important long essays, very important short uh, essay, short answers. Great. Everything that is prepared now, we're just waiting for the live lectures. Great, sir. So, guys, uh, there's a good news from both of the teachers here. They have told you exactly what to do for the next one month till your exams, university theory as well as university practicals. And like you've been asking us a lot, we'll have Farre for third prof as well, which will be on YouTube. In a month's time, we'll definitely give you the exact schedule. So, one question, like, uh, will this Farre third prof include theory as well as practical or only focused on theory? Predominantly, we'll cover theory and some aspects of practical classes also we will conduct. Sir. We will conduct. That's great. Manjana, sir, will, they, will you help them to uh, write how to write an uh, own certificate, how to write a medical certificate, everything? Exactly, sir. Same. Theory as well as practicals. Perfect. So, so uh, I... how to write and uh, what are the common mistakes they do in exam. So, those things we are discussing in Paris series. 
Perfect. So I think uh, for all the students who are sitting for the third prof exams, uh, we have two people who are have been conducting exams for multiple colleges for the past 10 years. The experience in conducting a VIVA, the common mistakes which a student has done, and they will be definitely delivering it to you in the theory as well as the practical form of array. So don't miss that. In addition to that, the Faray soft copy is already live in the app. Click on the link below, download the app, look at the Faray soft copy of third year. And one more interesting and a very important update. This Faray also will have eight core modules because uh, your university exam has said that you will have at least one question, five mark question in the eight core. So you have uh, for third prof, there are a few competencies. Murugan sir can help us with the competencies. So those competencies will definitely be there. That also is covered in the Faray soft copy. So don't wait for anything. Don't worry that PW Medals has got your back, right? So be it first prof, second prof, third prof, final year, or a neat PG or FMG or INICT, we will have you back, right? So thank you, sirs. Uh, any last word of advice for anyone who's uh, eagerly like worried, like I have not touched the book till now. What should they do from today till the exam? Murugan sir, what's your day? Just listen to the lectures. They listen to the lectures. Anyway, in 15 days, we can complete the subject, guys. Okay, no need to worry. You can easily pass through the exam. Just 15 days is enough for PSO. See, uh, we have two teachers here. One person has said 15 days enough for PSM. Right. Other sir, sir said like one week is enough for uh, forensic medicine. Sir, any last bit of advice for the students, what they should do for uh, uh, now from now till the uh, start of the exam? Sir, we are covering entire para in four or five classes. Perfect. If they are uh, listening to all those questions, I think that is more than sufficient for upcoming exam. That's great, sir. I will also be ally, uh, life of uh, Fare, uh, third prof. If uh, possible, I'll refresh my knowledge of PSM and forensic with you guys. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you a lot for your time. And uh, guys, if you have any comments, put them in the comment box below and we'll be more than happy to answer your queries. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.